The town of Gien, situated in the heart of France on the banks of the River Loire, is also renowned for its blue, in other words, its faience. It was in 1821 that an Englishman, Thomas Hall, bought the buildings on the banks of the Royal River and established the first factory in Gien. Over the years, production never ceased to expand and the types of pieces produced became more and more diversified. Among the pottery's numerous clients were royal courts, princely households and aristocratic European families who ordered dinner services embellished with their coats of arms. From 1945, production turned towards less traditional pieces, which were better adapted to everyday life. La Fiancerie de Gien manages every stage of manufacture. First of all, the substance. It is a mixture of clay, kaolin and grand sand, which is thinned with water, filtered, kneaded and then pressed. Then, depending on its use, the clay either has the air removed from it or it is liquefied. The former for molding for the manufacture of flat forms such as plates and the latter is used in casting for the manufacture of hollow forms. The pieces are then trimmed and cleaned to give a faultless finish. Some of them may have accessories added with the help of a special sealing clay. Once dry, they are put in a kiln for a first firing between 1160 and 1180 degrees Celsius. When they come out of the kiln, the pieces are called biscuits. They are now ready to be decorated. The art of decoration is comparable to the skills of artists. Different techniques are used. Hand printing, hand painting, a work of patience and minute detail. Or transfers for contemporary pieces already enameled. The pieces are then passed through an impressive tunnel kiln at 1080 degrees Celsius. This firing enables the design to fuse with the clay. It also makes the pieces stronger and allows better cohesion between the enamel and the biscuit. <laughs>